This video will demonstrate how to generate the steps prior to exporting models for in-house aligner fabrication using CS Model Plus version 5. In this example, I have already completed the segmentation along with an aligner treatment setup. Since the patient preferred a limited treatment to address upper jaw crowding only, you can see in the setup that only the maxillary arch was affected. In the virtual setup panel, notice that only the maxillary arch is highlighted, indicating that it is the only arch being treated in the selected simulation. To create the models that will be used to fabricate the aligners for each step of the treatment, I'll click Generate Intermediate Steps. CS Model Plus automatically calculates the number of steps required to achieve the treatment outcome based on the proposed setup. In the upper left corner, you can see that the intermediate treatment steps are based on simulation zero. If I had performed several different treatment simulations, I could switch between them. Now that the calculation is complete, you can see that this treatment will take 11 steps. In the lower left corner of the screen, you will notice that I have set the movement constraint to classic. These are customizable fields and you can define your own name for each constraint. Since the movement constraint determines the speed at which the case will be completed, I can switch between classic, fast, super fast, slow, and super slow, and the number of steps will adjust accordingly. You can define and name your preferred movement constraints in the preferences. I will quickly show you that if I click on fast, the software will recalculate the number of steps and will complete the treatment in just six steps. I'll revert back to the classic mode for this example. Notice the case complexity rating in the upper right corner. CS Model Plus assigns the number of stars to help you quickly assess case feasibility even while the patient is still in the chair. Additionally, color mapping helps you quickly assess the level of difficulty of a case. White teeth indicate that no movement will be applied to the teeth based on the setup. Green teeth indicate that the case is simple and straightforward with minor movement to the teeth. Amber teeth indicate the potential need for an attachment to correct the position. And red teeth indicate that the required movement is outside the clinically proven capability of the aligner. The thresholds for each color are embedded within the software and are automatically assigned to the teeth based on the amount of rotation and translation. I can also hover over each tooth and a window will be displayed providing the rotation and translation details. Once I have confirmed that I would like to proceed with this proposed aligner treatment, I will select Generate Steps to generate the digital models of each of the aligner steps in the treatment plan. We will now go to the Aligner tab, and CS Model Plus will automatically perform the calculation. Each of the steps are displayed in a gallery below the model. The first step is indicated by a green flag and includes today's date. The blue letter A indicates that I have chosen the classic setup. I can click the up arrow, select the classic movement constraint, and view a summary of the movements required for this treatment. I can navigate through each of the steps by either clicking on them, using the slider bar, or by using the navigation buttons. Next, I'll click the Display Level of Confidence per Tooth Movement button, which allows me to view the level of confidence for each step of the treatment plan. I can place the sequence on a loop and view an animation. Because it's a 3D animation and not a video, I can also rotate the model as needed to review the tooth movement, and I can adjust my settings as needed. I can use the adjustment panel in the upper left corner to adjust the opacity and display of the model base as desired. When I click and drag to rotate, the animation pauses, and as soon as I release the mouse, it resumes. I will halt the video and then revert to my original settings for the model. As you can see by the colors indicated on the teeth, I have several teeth that will need to be both rotated and translated, and the patient's right central incisor needs to be intruded. 
In this case, it would be extremely useful to use attachments to achieve the rotation and translation needed on the teeth indicated in both red and amber. I'll add attachments to several of the teeth. I'll begin by clicking Add Tooth Attachments, and the Tooth Attachments panel is displayed in the upper right corner of the screen. I'll left click and drag to rotate the model downward so I can more easily view the surface of the teeth. To add an attachment, I'll left click on an attachment type and drag and drop it onto the tooth. A navigation tool is displayed around the attachment, and I can click and drag to move the location of the attachment, I can rotate it, or I can even drag to enlarge the attachment. To increase the size of the attachment in only one direction, I can click on the little red box and drag and the attachment size will expand. As I'm adjusting an attachment, if I accidentally remove it from the surface of the tooth, CS Model Plus will intelligently lock it back to the surface of the tooth when I click Save. Once placed, I can click and drag the model to view the attachment from multiple views and angles. Now I will quickly add a few additional attachments. The lateral incisor is displayed in red, so I'll select a rotation attachment and I'll click and drag to adjust it on the tooth surface. Once I've confirmed the placement of the attachment, I'll zoom out rotate the model, and select the final attachment. I'll click and drag the attachment onto the tooth and make the final adjustments to its size and placement. The resize and rotation tool may be removed by right-clicking on the attachment. When I'm finished, I will click on Explore the Intermediate Steps to revert back to the previous window. You can see that the attachments I placed now appear on the teeth. As I click through the steps, you'll notice that the attachments are always following the tooth movement. When I get to step 7, I'm going to remove the attachments on the teeth that now appear in green because only minimal movement remains in the treatment plan. I'll begin by selecting Edit Tooth Attachment. Next, I'll click on the attachment I would like to remove. The tooth color is then highlighted in blue, and I can select Remove Attachment. I can remove as many attachments as needed. Once I have removed all of the attachments, I'll click Save. Next, I'll click back on the Explore mode, and now you can see that I only have one attachment on Step 7. If I click back on steps 6 and 5, you can see the attachments are still displayed. You can see on step 5 that there is an indicator that shows there are three attachments. I can view the details and see the tooth numbers for the attachment placement. If I advance to step 7, I can see there is only one attachment as I have removed the others. I can also change the movement constraints for a specific step. In this case, at step 7, I am going to change from classic movement to a faster treatment mode. I'll click the movement constraints, and then I'll select Change Movement Constraints from the Aligner Step window. CS Model Plus reverts back to the preview mode, and I can see that we are on step 7, and I have 4 steps remaining. I can change the movement constraints from classic to fast and CS Model Plus will automatically perform the calculation. Instead of four steps remaining, there are now only two. I can click Update the Steps, and the software displays a warning that it is about to recalculate the treatment simulation. I'll click Yes, and CS Model Plus will recalculate the steps, and now you can see we have a total of nine steps. You can also see that we changed the movement constraints from classic to fast as indicated by the letter B, and I can view the changes in the constraints window. This concludes the demonstration of how to generate the aligner steps in CS Model Plus version 5.